In this video, we're going to talk about trying to eliminate speaker hiss, hum, lower noise floors, get rid of ground loops in home theater gear, home theater equipment. I have tried the PS Audio noise harvesters. They did not solve problems for me. They made no difference whatsoever. These are out. They're going back to Amazon. Check out the prior video specifically on these. But I did one more experiment with them just to check. I stood upstairs with my ear next to my speaker. I had my wife down here with these plugged into the wall listening. I said, all right, go ahead and pull them. She pulled them. Zero change. Zero change in the buzz, in the hum, and the noise coming out of those speakers. So I appreciate everybody that left comments, gave feedback, suggestions, things to try from the video on the noise harvesters. I'm going to do that right here. We're going to disconnect everything. We're going to ground some things to other things. Heck, I might stick my finger in the socket in order to try to get the hum, get the buzz, and get the noise out of the system. So step one is gonna be disconnection. I'm gonna to try to get down to just the speakers connected to the amps and the preamps. I'm gonna shut everything else on this rack down and we'll see. One thing before I start disconnecting I wanna show is just what in fact the PC does when I fire up the gaming PC and we get into some games. When I'm not using this little guy here, Technically, this is a Morley Hum Exterminator. You see these on Amazon. They also call them the Hum X. I think it's the same device with different branding, but this is supposed to be a safe ground lifter, right? You plug a three-prong thing in, you get a three-prong thing on this side, but you get a safe kind of disconnection of the ground. And if I don't run my PC on this, things go really kind of haywire. All right, so here's what we get with PC gaming. And actually, wouldn't you know it, of course, I go to make the video, about how bad my PC hums and, and all of that when I use it in the system. And it's not as bad as it used to be. I think changing stuff out, disconnecting, I've been running the, the hum eliminator for so long. But I'm gonna put this up here for a second. See if you can catch that noise. I've historically gotten a very, very severe, harsh, really harsh buzz out of the PC when it's been running. Let me jump into the demo, get the GPU kind of fully cranking and just double check this again one more time. So running the Batman Arkham demo there, 4K 60 in the theater, and I'm not getting more of that buzz. This is so wild. I, I This stuff plagues me. It comes and it goes. It's phantom and it and it disappears. I, I would, I can't wait to find, just get everything nicely grounded, get everything nicely electrically equalized and not have to deal with this stuff anymore. Get these things silent. So I'm gonna start tearing stuff apart now, disconnecting things. All right, so no results of record so far. I have unplugged and disconnected all kinds of stuff. The left, the, the left side of the rack here is dark. Turned off the NAS, the Control 4 stuff, the PC, it's all turned off and completely unplugged from power. I unplugged the Kaleidoscape, I unplugged the Apple TV. The only thing plugged in and operating in this rack area then is the STR and the amps for the living room and the ABM 70 and the amps for the theater slash the living room. I do get buzzing in both rooms. The buzzing is more pronounced in the living room than the theater speakers than I can hear. The larger IW LCR6 focals in the living room have a very, very deliberate buzz to them. Whereas the IW sixes that I can get up closer to in the theater room have a little bit more of a hiss. Now my IW LCR6s in the theater are behind the screen, so I can't kind of get as close. I don't hear as much coming out of them, but they're being driven off of a different amp to begin with. They're driven off the A31, whereas those IW6s and the IW LCR6s are all driven off of the A52 Plus pair of sounds. So unplugging, disconnecting, power to things, no change. Unplugging the projector and the subwoofers in the theater room which are the only things connected to the system coming kind of from another circuit, no change there either. I went ahead and just unplugged all the other connections. So between the STR and the AVM70, I disconnected the, the optical audio from the TV, I disconnected Ethernet, and I disconnected all the HDMIs uh, into the Anthem. So the only thing plugged into this stuff right now are the speaker connections from the amps, the XLR RCA connections from the STR in the ABM70 to their respective amp channels. Of course, the power cables for all of this and the trigger cables. The trigger cables between these devices, these same devices, are still connected. No change. Now, I am still running them through the Furman 
and for the amps and the and the anthem gear through the ups maybe i'll bypass that see if i can get any difference there but so far nothing i also broke out some wire here and tried uh grounding a couple things i tried grounding the abm 70 to the middle uh, amp there the top a52 plus that's my left channels now the anthems actually have a chassis ground screw the parasounds amps the halo amps don't not anyone that i can see i don't know if it's underneath or somewhere else it's not on the back so i just unscrewed one of the screws on the back of the chassis itself for the parasound and i jumpered the anthems ground screw the abm 70s ground screw to the a52 plus no change uh, again, in both rooms. And so that would have grounded the amp driving the left speaker upstairs to the Anthem. Uh, no, no discernible difference from left to right. They're both buzzing the same way. For giggles, I also went ahead and just connected the ground screw of the STR to the ground screw of the AVM70. No, no difference there as well. I'm going to tinker a little bit more. I'm going to try a couple other things. Still no go. Tried the Parasound, one of the A52s on the ground lifter. The safe ground lifter, no change, left to right, speaker buzz, they're buzzing the same. Tried this in the Furman and tried it in the wall, nothing, no change, no difference. I also went ahead, one of the things still coming in functionally to the rack is the cable line, our internet cable service to my modem that's down here. My router is not down here. My Wi-Fi router is upstairs in our office. But I went ahead and just pulled the cable line, left that floating, no physical connection to anything in the rack for the cable line, no change with that either. I don't know. I think I'm running out of options here. Still no improvements. I've got the, the STR, the AVM70 unplugged. I'm just running the amps. We've got amps and speakers plugged in, driven off of these two A52s. The A31 at this point doesn't even really matter, I don't think, because again, it's it's connected to speakers that are behind the screen. And I got a better chance listening to the, the two side surrounds and the two left and rights up in the living room. I went ahead and tried a different circuit. So I grabbed an extension cord and I plugged one A52 out in the room outside of here. Completely different electrical circuit, different things on it. And I don't hear any difference. The same hiss, left to right in the theater the same buzz left to right in the living room i'm getting tired running up and down stairs interesting i don't really know where to go from here other than maybe pulling these things out of the rack if, if if being connected and screwed in to the metal potential of the rack is doing something to them i really don't want to do that i don't know if my speaker cable running through the house running from the rack up to the living room is picking something up because of the runs, because of the wire that it is, maybe it needed to be, everything is shielded. Maybe I needed a better speaker cable. I can't test that a different way though, because it's not like the speaker will buzz if I disconnect the speaker wire. And I'm not exactly pulling, uh, pulling another run of speaker wire anytime soon. So I am at kind of a loss, I think at this point. I might look back into the comments from the video, uh, the video about the noise harvesters uh, to see there were a couple other devices that people recommended to maybe put in in line with power cables and, and other connections to try and mitigate uh, some of this kind of noise and whatnot from happening a lot of that stuff was available on amazon and it's free returns so why not maybe give that stuff a shot a couple other folks mentioned to reach out and they might have they might have some suggestions to offer in terms of ideas so if you have any more thoughts how do you ground? How do you how do you manage the electrical potential, the 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 gr shared grounding between your gear, between your equipment? I think in the long run, what I really look forward to doing is breaking these zones apart. Quite honestly, not no, not running speakers in different areas, kind of off of the same amp, but kind of isolating the living room, living room componentry unto itself, and having the theater componentry unto itself. Theoretically, if the living room stuff is still in the same rack area, kind of plugged in through the same power handling, maybe that won't actually make any difference. I think in the long run, there could be potential for me as well to take the living room equipment and actually put it up in the living room. I have some ideas, maybe going into 2023, how I might want to rebuild out some of the living room to be able to test other speakers and do other things. 
test other gear in the two channel environment and having that perhaps isolated, taking the living room stuff to its own circuit, its own connections off of the rack here, may be a better way to go. But those are all really big hammers to swing and I'm not really able to do any of that stuff or not intending to do any of that stuff probably anytime soon. So if you have some other ideas, if you've tried some tweaks, uh, some, some optimizations in your system that allowed you to quiet down your speakers, eliminate the buzzing, if you've got some Focal 1000 in walls, I would be really interested to know if those speakers buzz for you or Parasound amplifiers. If you hear buzz out of any speaker connected to a Parasound or you hear buzz out of a Focal speaker connected to any amp. Uh, maybe what I'm hearing is just inherent to the stuff. There was some other suggestions that well, maybe your speakers are bad. I, I don't think the speakers are bad. I think whatever I'm hearing is part and parcel of the setup because I have multiple models of the same speakers in different locations, wired to different channels, and their behavior is the same. So unless I got like a bad batch, I don't think that that's really the case though. You know, four IW sixes hissing the same way. I, I don't I don't blame like I, that I have a bad speaker there. You know, multiple IW LCR sixes buzzing the same way. I don't think I've got a bad speaker there. Speakers running on two different A52 plus Parasounds. I don't think I have a bad amp. The sample sizes are still small, but I, I don't know. To me, I, stuff is generally more reliable than that. And I don't think that from a batch perspective, I have multiple bad amps or multiple bad speakers. Sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think relative to the things that I just described doing. Did I, did I do something wrong? Is there a better way that I should have experimented with stuff? I'm going to get this all hooked back up and, and powered back up and kind of keep thinking, keep researching, maybe order a couple of these other little Twinkie devices, and we'll see. So stay tuned for more. And again, if you want to check out the video specific to the PS Audio Noise Harvester, that link is popping up right now. Thanks so much for watching. Please do all the regular YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, share the video. If you'd like to support the channel, there's super thanks, there's memberships, there's merchandise. Use the Amazon affiliate links this shopping season. Thanks so much for watching. Coming back for more home theater discussion and fun.